Beth, this is Paul. Coronation Street's original bad boy, hello. Okay, I have a feeling and I could be very, very wrong. And we live in the Coronation Street moment. We do not time travel. But I'm starting to think that our Faye could be in the Puddin' Club. <coughs> Up the duff? Pram faced? Yeah, well look, I don't know. I do not know. You know, maybe she just has some body issues, and goodness knows we all feel fat every now and then, right? That's true, true. And if it is true, maybe Owen can get a good deal on Michael's greatest granddad t shirt. Then him and Faye can go nappy shopping at Fresh Coast. Yeah, it's going to be great. Barrel laughs. Uh, I suppose the first question to ask is why you're here. Uh, no, the first thing I want to ask you is why would anybody want to wear a sweater like that? I mean, I can understand going outside and thinking, I don't want to carry this sweater, so why don't I just wrap it around my shoulders, just in case I need it. Yeah, I mean, like in Brideshead Revisited, in case you get that chill off the lake. Yeah, well, outside, yes, but why are you wearing it like that inside? Don't you have a cupboard or a drawer that you keep your sweaters in? <laughs> I would think so. Maybe it's some kind of emergency sweater in case the uh, furnace breaks down, or maybe only his back is cold. <laughs> his back isn't cold. and it, If your back is cold, you would wear a vest, right? Oh, then your front is cold, c c covered too. I don't... <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk about this. Well, anymore. if you're wearing a vest, then everything is covered. You just want to cover one part. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Did you see those artisan sliders go by? I mean, it's only a matter of time before the bistro starts serving deconstructed cheese on toast for 20 quid a pot. What? Who knew our Leanne Battersby would be such a lover of rustic chic and reclaimed barn board, huh? Uh, it's all kind of... I feel like someone's going to give me my pint in a mason jar. It's not right. Not a single publication on urban poultry keeping. I know what magazine Sharif is looking for. Henhouse magazine. There's no way the captain's going to carry that filth. Chicken breasts and thighs and legs. I remember when my mum found my copy of Henhouse magazine under my mattress one time. I had no fish fingers and no telly for a week. It was horrible. I do we see it? You want to play mind games? I'll win. Every time. Callum, honey? You may be bigger than David, but I don't think you want to go challenging him to any mind games. Callum, all David has to do is summon up evil David, and you'll be on your knees in the gents with the dog and the gun, dumping your gear down the loo, crying. Welcome to Weatherfield, Callum. I come from a very respectable family. Stephen! I told you, I can't find the pig in remote. You're not serious, I'm still looking for that. I need it. No, you don't. What am I supposed to do if I can't watch my quiz shows? We have all been addicted to some really bad TV from time to time. Personally, I have watched some very embarrassing television daytime over and over again. But to take a man's remote? Liz, really? human rights violation. I don't even like to touch another man's clicky. It's wrong. So, have you ordered your breakfast? Uh, Kirk is just all over Sinead's hospital food. I know. I must admit, I have a rather strange attraction to Hazi food as well. I don't know what it is. Would you like a grape? Steve, could you run down to the cabin and get me a bag of mint imperials, please, yeah? I just can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. Of course you can do it, mate. You're Steve Flame and McDonald. Hello, I'm the Industrial Revolution. I brought you such wonders as Lost on Coronation Street and Horns. The Highway Code is quite clear about the inappropriate use of horns. 